Hello and welcome to Mindset Monday. Woo! We are in COVID, COVID land. I was going to say Australia land, COVID land, but uh, <laughs> now that's crazy. One person, one old dude in Argentina is bringing back bloody, he went to New South Wales first and he brought it back to Adelaide with him. One person, do we? Uh, if you're in Adelaide, uh, I-, I hope you're watching this with your your covid uh, your covid lockdown time hopefully we're all going to be uh, productive and uh, adding value to ourselves and developing ourselves and you know working on our values purpose mission and our vision tonight is all about your vision now the vision to be quite honest it's something i didn't quite understand and I didn't fully, uh, I guess, let myself wrestle with it. I didn't fully engage with it. I didn't fully commit and believe in the vision until probably oh, six, six months ago, maybe probably sooner. And the, the, my objection was, well, what's the difference between your mission and your vision? What's the difference? It's the same thing to me. I mean, my mission, I read that out and I see that. But so what's the difference? The difference is you want to literally write down everything that you see in the end result. So what I mean, my mission is to speak on the world stage and be, well, that would be more more vision really because I'm sitting there speaking, but my mission is to read, research, write, and teach and become a master at mythology and psychology. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to research Carl Jung and Friedrich Nietzsche and you know look into these ancient philosophers. So the mission is I'm going to research ancient philosophers. That's the mission. You can't really, you can't really see that. But the vision is I'm going to be in my office and I've got a house on the beach. There's a big window right in front of the beach so I can see every sunset. I can see people walking by below me. There's a massive bookshelf behind me, tons and tons of books. I've read every single book in my bookshelf. I know exactly where every single book is. I've got this awesome desk and there's like my office and the garage are actually connected. And I have a Ferrari in the garage or in the office with me. So I'll park my Ferrari and then I can just hop out and literally sit on my desk and see my Ferrari there. Like that's the vision. So the, the, the mission is what am I going to do in order to achieve my, my vision? Your vision is close your eyes. Okay. Imagine you've, you're literally just achieved all your biggest goals. What's it look like? What's your house like? You know, are you into cars? Have you written books? Do you have, I'm just asking myself, have you, do you have a world-class coaching clients? Do you have a, a family? What's your family look like? Do you have grandchildren? Do you have kids? Do you have a wife? Do you have a husband? Do you have a, 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 an awesome body? Do you have, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be really awkward at first. But once you get over that initial, oh, this is a bit weird, this is awkward, it's not really working together, I don't know what I'm doing here. Once you get over that, it gets really cool. And you can start, I don't know if you saw uh, a couple of weeks ago, maybe last week, two weeks ago, I posted in, like, it was a little post and I said, I want to, uh, I'm inspired, or I can't remember what I said, I I'm inspired. I love the days. I can't wait for the days in the future where I'm standing on the altar kissing Robin. It's like we've just got married. I'm standing there. Or the day my first child's born. Or the day I get the keys to my house. Or the day I am speaking at the World Leaders Summit. Or the day I'm coaching the president. And you can actually get in. And I haven't done this yet. Those were just little snippets of visions. Now I can actually go in and be like, okay, that vision, what inspires me the most? Oh, the wedding day. Okay, cool. 
how many people are at my wedding? Who specifically is at my wedding? And I can literally write down and describe. I mean, you don't really need to describe your friends and family because you know what they look like. But it's like, okay, my dad's sitting there. My mum's sitting there. You know, are my my mum and my dad, are they getting along together? Because they, they split up. They haven't really spoken. I hope they would speak at my wedding. But like, yeah, they're getting along. And I've got friends here. And I've made all these like masters in human behavior and psychology and philosophy. And they've come to my wedding. And you can start writing down and it's, it's a bit weird it's a bit awkward but just get over that and just write whatever's inspire inspiring you just write it down and you can have a, a bit of a my my folder is getting uh, pretty thick i'm gonna get a binded uh, office works i think but the whole point is like it doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be perfect you i was speaking to someone the other the other day and they said, oh, I can't do my mission yet because I haven't done my values and my purpose. And I was like, what? What do you mean? Come on. Just so you don't need to like, oh, can you do values? They're my purpose and my mission. And then I can do the vision. It's like, no, 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 no. The vision's probably the easiest, to be honest. Because when you, when you close your eyes, what's most clear to you? The things that are most clear to you are the things that will probably come most true. Now, there's a whole bunch of Joe Dispenza and, you know, there's, there's a whole bunch of other research you can go into and you can actually see scientifically they've proven that your body, your mind can't tell the difference between closing your eyes and thinking about doing something or actually doing the thing. You know, MRI, brain scans, they've done double blind placebo tests. Actually, I don't know how they would double blind that. Uh, just close your eyes. Imagine you're playing a fake piano. <laughs> but there's, they did a study, six weeks, I think, and two groups of people, one group was actually learning to play the piano, like in their, like phys physically. And the other group would close their eyes and imagine they were, a teacher would tell them, hey, imagine you're on the keyboard and you're pressing this key. And at the end of the six weeks, they both played the piano and they were just as good as each other. Imagine that six weeks. Now, something crazy. If you know Bronnie, Bronwyn Kogan in the Mojo from the Mojo Human Performance Institute, she used to work out when she first told me this, I couldn't fucking believe it. I was like, What are you? Are you crazy? What is wrong with you? But she used to close her eyes, meditate really fucking deeply, get into like a theta brainwave state, and have so much focus and clarity and intensity she would do her workouts in her mind and her body would be like, I mean, she wasn't like a, an elite bodybuilder, but her, she had a, a decent body with muscle and everything. Like, you know, I was like, you're doing your workouts in your mind. And she's like, yeah, I have to really focus on the, the, the muscle fibers breaking down and crazy, real crazy shit. So when you, that's the first thing your, your, Mind can't tell the difference between actually doing something and closing your eyes and imagining it, right? The second thing, if you don't specifically write down and articulate what it is that you want, your brain, if it's locked in the survival mode, if you're stressed, your brain will start thinking of the things that it doesn't want. I'll say that again. If you're not clear on what you do want and you're stressed, your brain will drop down into the survival, the monkey mind, and you'll be thinking, oh, what do I not want? What do I not want? Run away from fear, run away from pain, run away from... That's what you're thinking. And what, what was point number one? Your brain can't tell the difference between it actually happening and it actually and it happening in your head. Can't tell the difference. It can't. Right? So if you're not clear on what your vision is, then your brain's going to be thinking unconsciously, oh my God, I don't want I don't want to be broke. I don't want to be single. I don't want to be a loser with no job. I don't like you're thinking of all these things you don't want. Now, the problem with people, if they get stuck, if they're procrastinating, if they're not doing the vision, 
to scratch my head here. Oh, that's good. I wonder if that's ASMR for you guys. The people that don't specify what they want in their vision, they 100%, they're going to get the pain. They're going to get the thing that they're running away from because what you're running away from is what you run into because you need to learn the lesson in order to evolve and to be aware of the next level. At the moment, everything you're experiencing is because you're at a current level of awareness, of consciousness, of self-worth, self-belief, self-love. You know, you're at a certain level, a certain point. Now, the challenges you're given are they up to your level. You'll never get a level of challenge that's higher than the level of yourself. Never. So until you deal with the pain, the stress, the problems, whatever you're perceiving that you think is so bad until you face that darkness and you go, right, I'm going to fucking step up. I'm going to do the thing that I've been telling myself I can't do. Do the thing you say you can't do. Except like come back. To, I'm going to come back to life. I can't come back to life. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not that far. But you see what I'm getting at here. The vision is simple. Literally, what's in my head? What do I see in the future? Bang, write it down. What's inspiring me? What are the moments in the future that I would just fucking love to happen that I know are going to happen? I'm just so certain. I know I have this massive goal to achieve this. Just write it down. You don't need to be, it doesn't need to be grammatically correct and spelling and whatever. Just write it down. Even if they're little dot points. Oh, I would love this or I'd love that or I'm going to achieve this and have some fun with it. You know, in spite, think big. And hey, if you write it and it looks shit, looks weird, delete it. Who cares? But if you don't specify what you do want, your brain will give you automatically what you don't want. You actually get what you don't want. Hey, people say, oh, I don't want this, I don't want that. Well, did you specify what you do want? So just write it down. And over the next five days, if you're in Adelaide, if you're in lockdown, if you haven't died, oh my God. Uh, no, no one's dying in here. Then please uh, reach out, have a chat, engage in the group. Awesome seeing everyone getting onto the, the one word thing. My one word this week is research. So that will be uh, interesting if I'm going to stay at my girlfriend's uh, and there's kids around. Uh, that will be a good uh, thing for me to report back on. Mitch, how'd you go with your research? You said, oh, you're the leader in here. So I look forward to hearing from you guys, chatting to you guys and uh, have an awesome... Actually, let me check if anyone's watching here. Oh, there is someone watching, but they haven't liked it. Oh, come on. Give us a like. Give us a love. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and... Uh, I'll see you next time.